Today we're going to have a look at the new thermal monocular from ATN. It's the ATS XLT 160. Uh, it's a two to eight times magnification, fixed two times. The rest is going to be digital zoom. Uh, this is the first time I sort of having a have a closer look at it. I pulled it out of the box and had a play uh, the other day, um, and lo and behold, I deleted all the images that I took. So that's going to be handy. Um, so this is generally how you're going to receive it. Got a good set of destructions here, microfiber cleaning cloth. Uh, the unit itself is sitting here. Uh, nice, nice box. I I'd have to say so. Uh, so up in this jobby just here, you get your carry case. Uh, and this is your uh, USB to uh, USB C cable. I'll show you a bit more on that soon. So nice thick padded bag. Throw it in. Yeah, and then we've got another small one just here. Magic space filler. I'll just pop it back in there. Move that aside. Close her up. All right, so it's actually pretty basic. There's not much to it. Underneath here, that's USB C. It's got a built in battery for itself, four buttons, your main cap lens with focus. And we'll go down the back here. That'll be your display, and then you've got display focus on this side as well. So you've got your on-off button, you've got your, your picture, picture taking button, you've got your mode button, which not only changes um, uh, what thermal mode you're in, because there's four different thermal modes, which is um, white is hot, black is hot, um, red is hot, and, uh, and fusion. Um, and then down the bottom here, you've got your zoom. Yeah, it's only one button zoom because you keep going zoom, 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 and then it'll take itself back out again. Uh, so it's a digital zoom on that one. Uh, it's got a built-in rangefinder as well, um, which I was uh, pretty surprised to see because it basically goes through all your different settings um, and, and options down there. It's a little bit tricky getting into the rangefinder mode, but, um, yeah, it's uh, not a bad little little job it's um from what i've seen it's a little bit better than um the hick vision variant of it itself as well much much clearer image than, than the hick vision one um uh let's see uh also compared against the fleur as well i have to say um in my opinion a little bit better than uh the fleur and we all know that fleur is sort of the leaders in in this sort of stuff so it's just going through so you got white hot black hot uh, we'll cruise over red hot and that's the fusion i was talking about so that's your four different um four different heat modes so to speak and this is your um sorry your range finder call it measure the distance there is a little bit to get into it all um but um yeah, it's uh Little bit different there, but um, yeah, this is the unit in a nutshell. It's nice, it's easy to use, it's not terribly heavy, and it's a nice little contender in the thermal range. Um, use it in conjunction with shooting, so spot your target, you'll be able to find it a lot easier with that, and then scope her up a lot cheaper than going to thermal scope, too. Um, and it's just good all around fun to have a walk around and find out what's, what's around, so. I'd love to um, upload some photos. If I do magically have some photos left on here, I will um, upload them as I'm speaking now. And um, yeah, if not, I'll take some in the shop and out the front and all that sort of jazz to give you a little bit of a look. But other than that, um, I do highly recommend this um, in the budget thermal monocular range.